There are calls for Limpopo Education MEC Polibushielo to be fired following a 1,5% decline in the matric pass rate. Limpopo's matric class of 2021 obtained 66,7% pass rate, failing to reach the 70% threshold. The Congress of South African Students and some political parties have called for Bushielo's head, saying she is to blame for the decline. Some analysts have also blamed Bushielo for passing the buck and not taking responsibility for this decline. And for more on this, let's bring in our reporter, Pimani Baloi. Uh, Pimani, uh, this is an ongoing story in the province. What's the latest? Morning, Desri, and good morning to our viewers at home. Desri, indeed, there have been some education stakeholders who have been saying it appears no one in the Limpopo Education Department is willing to take responsibility for the deadline that we've seen in the metric results. And Desri, we must add, this is the second year in a row where we've seen metric results declining in the province, where the province was experiencing a serious upward spiral since 2016 where we saw in 2018 the province reach, reaching the 70% pass rate mark and then uh, in 2020 it, in 2019 it also went up to 73% but then in 2019 we saw the province declining below to 68% below the 70% uh, threshold and this year we all know there was a 1.5% decline and many saying it appears there is no one willing to say we understand something went wrong, we are going to fix it. Some of these stakeholders will be speaking to them today, including the Council of the SGBs in the province, including the Congress of uh, Students Courses in the province, and we will also be reaching out to the department. But Desiree, I, br I now bring in an, uh, an education analyst, uh, Dr. Ebing Weber, to speak more about this. Dr. Uh, this the class of 2021 was actually the like experienced COVID-19 learning conditions after under COVID-19 twice when they were in grade 11 and last year when they were doing their metric. Our calls for the emissions had justifiable. Uh, good morning and morning to the viewers out there. In my considered view. The calls for the sacking of the MEC, I don't think to a very large extent are justifiable because uh, what needs to be done in the department where if you look at the Department of Education, the challenges in that department has become more systemic and structural. Structural and systemic in the sense that uh, to a large extent it was because of such similar calls that were made in the past where because of such calls the department, uh, uh, the provincial department of education in Limpopo has had countless number of MECs which has had uh, uh, an intended consequence of destabilizing the education system in the province. So for me, uh, that is not the panacea to these problems that are besieging the department. I think what is needed is a holistic diagnosis of these problems and challenges that have become systemic and structural so that whatever solution uh, is arrived at is a solution that is achievable, that is sustainable, that can be uh, uh, that can bring even stability in the department because currently, as I indicated, because of these uh, calls where uh, in the past some of these calls were acceded to and some MECs were, were sacked and there has been a destabilization which amongst others resulted in fluctuation of the results as you indicated. And uh, doctor, talking about this holistic analysis, do you think it's currently being conducted? Because some are saying it appears the current leadership is not really wanting to take responsibility. They are blaming COVID-19, they are blaming the rotational timetable and other factors, but not really sitting down and uh, saying there is something. Do you think they are analyzing this problem holistically as you suggested? I think what the current leadership should do, should take responsibility and go back to the drawing board and look at the situation holistically, come up with uh, some uh, solutions that and coupled with appropriate interventions that will bring 
everlasting and sustainable solution when it comes to the performance of learners in the Department of Education in the province. Thank you so much, Doctor. That is Doctor Ebinwebe, uh, the uh, uh, an education analyst here in Limpopo, talking to us about the declining pass rate in the province. As I was saying earlier, Desri, we will be speaking to other stakeholders who have made these calls too. But also, we have reached out to the provincial education department, trying to get their view on this, and we were referred to the office of the premier, saying these are issues that relate to employer-employee relations and that the Premier is better placed to respond on this. So we have uh, an appointment with the spokesperson of the Premier in the province, Mr. Willi Musuma, later today, and we will be bringing you more on this development, Desiree. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Pimani, and staying with education.